and welcome to the session. In this session, we discuss the following question that says, A person borrowed $2,400 on 1 January 1990 and agreed to pay $400 after 2 months, $600 after 3 months and $1,800 after 11 months. In full redemption of his debt, find the rate of interest charged. Before we move on to the solution, let's discuss the formula for the equated time of payment. We consider P1, P2, P3 and so on the different payments due after D1, D2, D3 and so on days respectively counted from the zero date then the equated time of payment That is capital D would be equal to P1 D1 plus P2 D2 plus P3 D3 plus and so on and this whole upon P1 plus P2 plus P3 plus and so on that is equal to summation PD upon summation P. This is the key idea that we use for this question. Let's proceed with the solution now. Now the date of borrow is 1 January 1990. So first of all we assume that 1st January be the zero date that is the date of borrow is the zero date. Now here we have made four columns in which we have the due dates, the payments, that is the capital P, and the number of months, that is small d and P multiplied by D. Now first due date would be after two months of the date of borrow. Now since the date of borrow is 1st January, so after two months of 1st January is 1st March is our first due date and the payment to be made on 1st March would be $400. So here capital P would be 400 and D that is number of months counted from the zero date that is 1st January would be 2 months since this payment is to be made after 2 months of the date of borrow. Now P multiplied by D would be 800. Now next due date would be 3 months after the date of borrow. Now since the date of borrow is 1st January, so 3 months after 1st January would be 1st April. So 1st April is our next due date and the payment to be made in this that is capital P would be $600. So, in the column of capital P, that is payments, we would write 600. The number of months, that is small d, would be 3. Since this payment is made after 3 months of the date of borrow, and here P multiplied by d would be 1800. Now, next due date is after 11 months of the date of borrow, and for 1st January, 11 months would be 1st December and the payment to be made in this month would be $1800. So we write here 1800 and here small d would be 11. Now P multiplied by is 1800 into 11 which would be 19,800. 
Next, let's find out summation P, which would be equal to $2,800 and summation PD is equal to $22,400. From the key idea, we know that the equated time of payment, that is capital D, is equal to summation PD upon summation P. So now, the equated time of payment, this is denoted by capital D, is equal to summation PD upon summation P, that is equal to 22400 upon 2800. Now these two zero cancels with these two zero and 28, 8 times is 224. So we have capital D is equal to 8 months. This means the borrower has to pay $2,800 after 8 months. Now the total interest is equal to summation P minus the money borrowed. So this would be equal to now we know summation P is $2,800. So this is equal to $2,800 minus money borrowed which was $2,400. So total interest is equal to $400. Therefore, we say that interest on $2,400 is $400 for 8 months. So now to find out the rate of interest charge, we would find out the interest on $100 this would be equal to 400 upon 2400 into 100 for 8 months or you can say 400 upon 2400 into 100 into 12 upon 8 for a year. That is, we need to find out the rate of interest charged per annum. So we would convert 8 months into year which would be 8 upon 12. Now these two zero cancels with these two zero and 4. 6 times is 24 and 6 2 times is 12 and 2 4 times is 8 and 4 25 times is 100. So we get this is equal to 25% per annum. Or you can say hence the rate of interest charged is equal to 20 5% per annum. This is our final answer. This completes the session. Hope you have understood the solution of this question.